Okay, Gemini Sun, Moon Rising, Venus and Jupiter. All right. Okay. So let's see what is coming towards Gemini, Sun, Moon Rising, Venus and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm posting after a very long time. Thank you for staying tuned. For all those who are still there with me, let's dive into your reading, guys. Let's see what is coming towards you or what's happening with you in the month of December, right? So this is for Gemini. Oh, Gemini. This is amazing. This is the grave card representing the death energy and ring. Wow. Now I'm getting two messages looking at the cards. I'm getting two messages here. Okay, so what I see here is something is coming to an end, right? And somehow you're realizing that this ending has been really important because there is going to be a new beginning. Can you see a ring here? Can you see this flower? Now, how I feel is that this flower is actually going over the grave. You're getting my point? So something you are accepting here, something that... For a lot of you, it's long gone. Uh, maybe already it was over a few months, few weeks ago, maybe maybe years ago. Something has been done and dusted. The only thing that was left was your acknowledgement, your acceptance, and your uh, understanding that it has to go because this has to start in your life, right? I'm getting, getting you know, a, a very positive energy of release, very positive energy of let go, the positive energy of uh, transformation, accepting the transformation. Very interesting energy. Okay, let's dive into your reading. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We're going to see what's happening with you. If, any, if there's any specific person you're thinking about or dealing with, what's going on in the situation, and what, what can be happening next. Right? Oh my god. Okay. This is for Gemini. Month of December. I see that. I see a very fulfilling, very emotionally um, wonderful energy for you overall. Right? And uh, to acknowledge this beautiful shift, beautiful change in your life, you're letting go of something. Somebody in your surroundings isn't that happy with what you're doing. They are feeling dissatisfied. They see you focusing on your life, on your kids, your family, your growth, your well-being, overall emotional fulfillment. They're not happy with that. We're going to see why, what is the reason why this person is not happy with that, right? The situation surrounds a decision that you're making in your life. I think it's it's quite in concurrence, you know, whatever we are getting here, it's, it's coming in concurrence. You are making a decision. This is a phase of decision in your life. You're leveling up. You're choosing your world. You're choosing your family. You're choosing your happiness. Maybe kids, maybe responsibilities. Now, kids can be something that you have given birth to. Maybe a project, maybe a dream project, maybe something. And you're just like, okay, I'm, I'm there for that thing now. You're leveling up for that. We're going to dive in for this person to why are they so unhappy. Now, this is not coincidence. Look at the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. Oh my God, look at the combination here. Some emotions were keeping you stuck. Some toxic energy was keeping you stuck. Somebody's emotional. Now, Knight of Cups with the Devil is the energy. You were getting this offer from something that was toxic. Now, when I say toxic, it doesn't mean that this person was bad per se, but the connection was not healthy for you it was like somebody was codependent and they were dragging you back into something you had to let go of yeah look at that somebody wanted to work things out here and you're realizing that has been a matter of stress for you i feel this has been a matter of stress for you but finally you're, re you're realizing that you need to claim independence and wow look at that nine of pentacles energy and let's see Okay, this is the month of release, Gemini. This is the month of let go. This is the month of uh, a phase, literally a phase of your life getting changed and acknowledging and welcoming the new. Wow. Okay, so something is like, you know, um, the shift here was like a shake-up for you. It shook your foundation. 
right? And I see there has been some responsibilities, specifically family thing. There has been some responsibilities that were causing a lot of struggle. It's like maybe this person, managing this person or managing this energy along with this 1010 was difficult. That's what I feel. And um, something is happening. It's like a shakeup happening within you. And you're realizing that it has to change. Now, somebody you're dealing with, this person, again, they're not happy. They're distant. They're trying to... Uh, okay, this person is not in a very healthy shape. There's an earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Definitely under some influence. I see Capricorn energy, devil energy was there. get back onto onto this queen of pentacles but what i see here this person has been very dissatisfied and unhappy the turning away you know there is an energy of codependency in such a way that you have a lot in front of you but this person was having just you at least that's what they're thinking i, I felt that this person was actually having that mindset or you know, it's like Gemini has the world in front of them, but for me, it's just Gemini. Maybe this mindset is keeping this person stuck. They're not able to come out of some kind of attachment this person has uh, created in their mind with you. It gets burdensome here. Hmm. Your silence is important here, Gemini. Your silence is very important here. Because the situation is causing a lot of baggage. And to deal with that baggage, you need time to adapt. You need time to uh, assimilate, adapt, take it in, you know, breathe it in and just accept the change. They are feeling it's unfair and, you know, they might do some things. You might feel that, okay, why is this person reacting in this way or... Okay, what is the reason why are they... Look at the justice card. Why are they so unhappy? They, their reactions are going to cause burden on you. You're getting my point. And this is somehow making you feel that, okay, you need to be silent. You need to... Um, you need to be silent about the situation. Yeah, and it, there's a flush of emotions here. This whole situation is going to give you, you know, is going to make you emotionally imbalanced. There's this hurt associated. But, you know, sometimes what has to be done has to be done, you know. And there are things that... Um, Knight of Wands, Eight of Cups, and Two of Swords. Hmm... I see, still, it, it's not that this matter is getting over and you're just, it's just getting flushed out of your head and you're not going to think about it anymore, Eight of Swords. Somewhere back in your head, it's continuously going on and you know this person is getting impacted by your decision. It's a very hard decision, I feel. And your silence is actually must here. You need this silence, Gemini, because the silence is actually going to help you uh, you know, assimilate with the change, acknowledge the change that's happening. You need some time off, you need a break. And this person will get the space and time and energy uh, to understand that things have to shift. You know you have to walk away and you're eventually doing that. But it is causing so much stress on your head because somehow... You know, I don't know, there's some kind of moral responsibility that you felt for this person or some responsibility is not letting you completely let go of them. Let's clarify. Okay, oh, this is for Gemini. Ten of Cups, Gemini, Ten of Cups. Okay, a lot of flippers. Ten of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. See, it's a new start. 
it's a new start financially emotionally by all means it's it's a fresh beginning in your life they are happy why is this queen you know remember we were like this queen of pentacles is coming back here i let's clarify what is this queen of pentacles energy Knight of Cups, Three of Cups, Four. There is somebody around this person, and uh, I see they have an offer also. Queen of Cups. there is a female in this person's energy very strongly showing up and i don't know this female is the lover or the mother or some kind of important relationship they're sharing i see for a lot of you it's a friend and um it's a friendship that is helping this person heal wow what's the burden here then I know so it see you just you just not able to sleep because this thought is disturbing you 10 of cups ace of cups page of cups okay you need time the moon the knight of pentacles I see there's a big opportunity in hand Gemini. Something you have to let go of, something that's that's done and dusted that has to be released in order to acknowledge this, you know, 10 of cups twice, 10 of pentacles, ace of pentacles, knight of I see big new positive changes coming your way, but you have to acknowledge that some things are over now. Some things are over now. this person needs your support this person needs it's like for them it's very hard to let go of you whoever you're dealing with it's like whoever you're letting go of you're realizing that um, look at that sun and lady card here look at the females i don't know why is this person surrounded with so many females Are they listening to so many females? Look at the mother card here. Where's the situation heading? Let's see between you and them. It's a struggle. I, I'm I'm not saying that it's completely getting over, but it's causing a lot of mental struggle for you. And you confuse. See that the world, the star. So what what is making sense? What what's making real sense for me here is that the situation is very confusing for you. but somehow you're realizing that you will have to deal with it silently you will have to uh find that sweet time for yourself you will have to how should i say take a break create some personal space in order to make this decision because it's very confusing it's a big decision of your life it's very confusing All right okay advices for gemini here in the situation advices for gemini i'm going to pull out one cookie for you fortune cookie card at the end of this reading five of swords look at that an unwise choice there's a better way that will make you happier avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives so gemini mm there are people in your surroundings who have you know remember devil with the knight of cups i just can't take it off my sight i i still remember exactly something toxic is coming back after you again and again there's going to be communication look at the king of cups here water energy water energy water energy there's too much going on together stress going stress 
caused by many positive opportunities around you expect events unexpected events or rapid changes the ability to multitask in business travel so i see a lot of positive movement forward in your life but there are people having objectionable motive and your gut is telling you that's why this confusion is there you know when there is a strong yes there's no confusion when universe gives you a strong yes you have to do something you have to go after something or it it has to be done this way it comes from within and when you have a lot of confusion oh my god is it going to happen why i'm not able to see clearly what is my future there's some hidden no from the universe in that situation right or there's some red flag that you have to understand in that situation let's see gemini wow sexuality <laughs> existing relationships could find a new passion and heightened sexual attraction i do see that some some ascension is taking place in your personal romantic life opportunities for marriage and good family oh wow family life are strong but if single be aware of temptations that could that could lead to trouble a child will also bring great joy right and we have burnout you know something is going to exhaust you your hard work will see results but your health needs to be maintained so check check in with your doctor dentist or health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle you know it's too much going on at once that's going to burn you out you have to be careful that you're not exhausting yourself and specifically in the matter of uh, somebody who might cause a lot of mental stress and they have questionable motives your intuition is telling you that i'm going to leave you here guys